everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hi everybody, Cindy Utter here. Um, I am going to play around with this. This is an old calendar that I found from 1910 and there's a really cool couple on the front of it and it has it already has a hook on the back which I'm gonna have to glue down to keep that hook there and I want to mix media it now I really want to try to keep the picture the same I don't want a Christmas theme here let me bring you guys down in um, I don't really want the Christmas here, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to put something else on that. And it has the entire calendar from 1910. So I really want to leave that on here, um, the calendar itself. So um, what I'm going to do is I've got some Canvas Corp stuff out here, um, stuff that I received from them. Um, I've got some scraps here. And I'm going to play and let's see what we can do. The first thing I'm going to do is cover up this because I really don't want it to be um, messed up. So what I'm going to do is, let's first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover this up. Do, 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 do. Let's do it right here. Alright, so I'm just going to put a piece of um, tape runner on here, because I know the tape runner I can get back off. Actually, let's just make it a piece of, no, nope, that's regular tape. Come on, I know I have one on here. Well, maybe we're going to do a tape runner. Here's one. Let's make sure this one works. I'm just going to put a, maybe. There we go just a little bit on there so that this um, keeps that covered and I'm going to do the same thing to this let's find, let's find something to cover this up this piece of paper here until I find what else I want to put on it so I'm just going to put that on there all right now um, in one of the packages that I had ordered from Canvas Corp, which was the Circle Journal, I believe um, Shannon set it up, Shannon Green, what I'm going to do is she, in that packet uh, was sent this chalkboard paint, and this one is called Myrtle, and I really like the color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some of this on these. And I just want to darken them up a little bit. Alright. And then I want this to get some on it. Alright. And we're going to play. I'm going to take some matte medium. Ugh, maybe. Good lord. These things just glue themselves together. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to take some of the matte medium. I've got some odd and ends here. i got a little bit of the canvas. And I actually want to cut this. Let's do a couple. There's one. Two. Three. And one. Two, three. Okay, so this is going to be used on here as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want the edges to be frayed. So I am going to take out some of the strings and make sure we've got that frayed look. See how it's frayed? You just take some of the strings out. And we're going to use those strings too, so. Take a few out. Take a few more out. 
this side and the end. All right. Today's been a rough day. It's just been rough. Maybe a rough one. All right, so there's three of those. Huh, must be I actually had that folded in half. Apparently I did. All right, and we've got three little ones. Or, yeah, three little ones. Probably got six of them. There's one. There's two. Yep. There's three. Okay. So let's grab a paintbrush. And I'm going to get some of this paper here. This also came from Canvas Core. So we're going to use up some of this paper. And put this over here to the side. I'm going to put my mat medium right here on my mat. And we're going to start playing. Now whatever I put on here, I will end up cutting around the edges, so that's no problem. I need to do it so that I'm not on. I don't want that to stick, so I just want to make sure that that's still able to move. It feels like there's two pieces there. There's not, but it feels like it. Okay, just throwing down some paper, just some collage. Okay, now I'm going to take some of this that I actually colored with the um, chalkboard paint. Don't know as matte medium is going to keep this on here, so we may end up having to use something else. But we're going to start with the matte medium. A piece of canvas. We're going to use this. Just cut it in a few pieces here. the string. Like I said, we're going to use those pieces. Whatever I need to, I can cut off. That's not a problem. My chair keeps squeaking. <clears throat> Just want some of this on here to start with. Just love the texture that it gives. Great, great texture. And now I am going to take these and these as well. And we're just going to throw some of this spray on them. Now, if you notice, I just took my paintbrush and went through there. That's just so I can pick up some of that color. All right, these, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to put on with the matte medium. I just don't think they're going to be 
it's going to be strong enough. So I'm going to grab my tacky glue, Aileen's tacky glue, and we're going to glue these on. Oops. Let's grab a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> Who doesn't like playing in paint? <laughs> it's so fun. as well. Looks like I've made a heck of a mess, doesn't it? I have. It's okay. It's my mess. It's fun. It's fun to play in. So... So this one is going to go right here, and then we're going to take some of this. This I am going to do with the matte medium. Oops, get you off there. Just going to put a bunch of that right there. some coloring around the outside there. All right, I want some more of this. So I'm going to take another piece of this. I didn't have to do that, did I? All right, we're going to take this piece and I'm going to put it right down here, top of that. Now, one good thing about this uh, matte medium and all the glue and stuff, it will um, dry clear, which I'm, you know, grateful for. Because I'm a making a mess, making a mess, and having a ball. I was just looking at the uh, stuff that I... Sorry about my phone pinging. I forgot to shut it down. Um, I was looking through the supplies and stuff that I received in Canvas Corp. Hold on. Hold on. Let me shut that off so it stops pinging. Stop pinging. Alright. Uh, so anyways, I was looking through the supplies and I'm like, you know, I really, I had knew I had this old um, calendar slash, you know, um, picture. And I know I've been wanting to do something with it for some time now. And it's just, it's making me very happy to be able to play around with supplies and get it put into something. You know, get it, get this taken care of. So I can put it up on my wall. Now, that's them. What I want to do, 
I'm going to try to use some of that color. Let's see if I can. Let's do it this way. There we go. Just using the color on the brush just to kind of bring that in so that it's not so white around the edges. And I'm just going to bring that down through here. Make sure we got enough of that color in so that it's pretty well uniform. Let's finish these and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have some um, of the Tattered Angel Spray. I haven't gotten my paints in yet. Um, I put in a second order and I ordered some paints because I want to play around with some of the newer paints that they have. I think it's Tattered Angels. So. Um, I haven't gotten those in yet, but I have some of the uh, Tattered Angel Spray, so I'm going to spray some goodies here. All right, I want some more of this on here, and I want it the color. So we're just... This is great. This is messy. So much fun. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So awesome. Just get our, do some more. So these little fringes and stuff that you find, you know, in your, um, when you're playing around with canvas and you're playing around with burlap and stuff, don't throw them away. Use them. Use them for something like this. Why not? It just turns out cute. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So cool. Alright. I'll take this. Oh, see that's taking the Christmas off, which is fine. No big deal. I think what I'm actually going to do. I'm gonna cut this to size. Yep. Right there. Cut it right about there. And that's gonna go on there. And then we'll put something on the front of it. Come on. I love this Aileen's Tacky Glue. They really need to find a different container to put it in. My only complaint. Alright, so this is actually going to go on here. I like now how that it the color actually goes with it. Okay. All right. Now I have this. This was on the picture. And okay, I was like, why didn't this down there? Um, I like it. So what I'm gonna do? Is just cut out some odd and end circles. They're not going to be perfect circles. I don't care. I like circles. Do, 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 do. See, they're not perfect. It's okay. They don't have to be. I said so. All right. So again, I'm just going to glue these down just in random places just to give it a little bit more interest, a little bit more texture. All 
I don't know if this map medium is going to work, so let's, let's glue these down with some something that's got oomph. And actually, then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry really well, and then I will come back and put some more embellishments on it, and um, that's not going to go there. And we'll finish it up. Shoot this one. Up. Oh no no no! Can I put it underneath? Yeah, right there. Ah! Hardest part's keeping it all down. Okay. This one just needs a little bit more dirtying. I can say dirtying, but that's just the chalk paint. Come on, stay down there now. I know you're there, and I know I want you to stay there. Okay, looks kind of like a mess right now, but let's um, let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll put on the rest of the embellishments and finish it up. So I will be back. All right, guys, sorry about that. I ended up, uh, I what I did, I didn't realize the camera wasn't on again. I'm sorry. It's like I said, it's been a hard day. Um, I decided to take this tag that I got from Canvas Corp. Um, and I glued it onto here and then I just took a brad and put a brad on the end there. So that's all I've done to that. Now I have this word here, imagine. So what I'm going to do, I just want a little bit of the coloring on this. I don't want a whole lot. Just kind of want to, so it's not quite so cream color, you know. There we go. Ah, come to me. I'll just do the edges, run the edges through it a little bit. See, and that way it's not quite so yellow. So that's actually going to go right here. I'm um, just going to use regular school glue, Elmer's glue, out of my fine liner here. And I'm just going to put that right there. Now, I was thinking about um, putting these silver on here, but you know what? I'm not going to go with silver because I've got some gold um, tattered angels here that I want to use, and I also have some gold paint. So instead of doing silver, we're going to put these back in the basket. I am going to use these little bingo guys, and these I'm going to use with tacky glue. Put the school glue top on. Come on. All right. I'm gonna find something to clean that up with, but we'll do that in a minute. So I just want to kind of put some doodads around this a little bit. Let's put that right there. Now I also had out these um, white buttons, but I again I think they're too white. So I'm going to go to my stash and see what I can find for either a cream or a dark button. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got some. They're like a almost like a tan color button here, and I'm just going to play around by putting some on. A few here and there. I'll stick three of them right there. Those are cool. Put one right here. I think we'll do a couple in the little grass stuff here. Oops, come on. Stay on there. Um. Come on. Well, let 
me pick it up. You might hear my stove in the background. Um, it's cranking because I was cold. <laughs> so I turned it up. Turned it up. Alright, so now let me put these two buttons back. Alright, I was going to use these also. I am not because I'm going to use the gold. This is an awesome stencil. We didn't use that, but we'll use it again. Alright, now I want to take some of this gold paint. And what I want to do is I don't... Woo, that's way too much, but that's okay. I'd like to spray it, but I'm so afraid I'll get this messed up and this. So actually I could just put a couple things over that, huh? Let's see. That, as you can just put over that. This is just a piece of scrap that I had on my desk. You know what? I am going to spray this a little bit. And let's see how it goes. that. Now I want to take I want just a light, light, light clean up some sides here some gold down here. I'm liking how this is coming out. It's 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 that grungy yet um, pretty, I think, uh, piece. I could be wrong. Somebody may look at it and say, what did you do that for? But you know what? I like it. And I just made those gold. Which is okay. Alright, let me just see what else I've got going on. don't like how white this is, so we're going to just kind of throw some gold on here. But I'm going to have to find something to put underneath that wish. Just so that, um, there we go. Yeah, look at that. That's much better. I'm get it cleaned up here on the sides. Um, just something to put on that wish so it's not quite so empty. Is that the word I'm looking for? Is that the word I'm looking for? I'm liking it. Let's give Mama here some gold shimmer in her skirt. We'll give Papa some gold shimmer on his jacket. How's that? Mama and Papa. Here they are. All right, let me find something for on here, and we'll just finish this up. I'll be right back. All right, I found these two little um, hearts. They were wooden, little wooden hearts. And this one I just put some gold paint on, and then I took a little bit of the color that I've got here just to kind of darken it up a little bit. Do that around the edges. Okay, 
And I'm going to take my tacky glue. And I'm going to put this heart right here. Like that. And then this one again is just a wooden heart that I covered with the gold paint. And I'll put that one right here. Okay, I have glued on the back. I glued that hook back on. And let me do one last thing. I want some sparkle. white <laughs> I just had it I don't know what I did with it I only see two of them uh, <laughs> alright we'll use this instead this is just um, glitter German glitter I had a white or I'm sorry I had a clear wink of Stella um, see this one is just, it says glitter clear, is that the one? Well, it might be. Let's find out. It is. Wow, Cindy was not reading. And what this is, is it's just like a clear glue with glitter in it. Just to try to pop things up a little bit. You guys probably won't be able to see it on on the um, camera, but I know it's here. Just cut that off. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, the one corner had. Can you see where it's rounded a little bit? The rest are. That's okay. It just adds to its charm, doesn't it? And again, I'm just. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's got little paint on it. There. Okay. So just to give it a little bit more glitter. Alright, so here you guys are. I hope you enjoyed. This is using my canvas corpse supplies as well as a little bit of tattered angels and i love it now i get to hang it up in my studio so i hope you guys have enjoyed we'll chat soon bye hey everybody i hope you enjoyed that video as always hit like share comment i'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions um and as always be kind have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating we'll talk to you soon bye